In this video, we'll be using free software Caden Live to do this speed effect with a blur. We'll be increasing the speed quite a bit and we'll also be doing slow. And we'll be doing this using the speed remapping tool in Caden Live. So to get started, we'll drag our video clip down. This is just drone video footage um, from a GoPro. So it's a MP4 format and we're gonna go to the point that we want. Right now, everything's just slow. And so this is the part we wanna be speeding up this sort of pan around uh, these bikers on top of this ramp. We'll start by trimming the clip just a little bit so that it starts in where we want and we'll trim it out so it'll end here. Just We're just trimming the start and end of the clip, not adjusting speed at all yet. So this will be the clip that we're working with. We can right click and go to time remap. And that brings up this interface down here in the bottom left hand corner. And we can see we have our source clip on the top and then our output on the bottom. And this lets us remap or change the time of the video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click here to add a keyframe, and we'll go forward to the point we want the time to change back. To, so it, all in between here's gonna be fast speed. We'll click to add another keyframe. And then if we drag this lower one, we're basically telling it fit everything that was going to be in there into this uh, tiny time frame. So it makes it basically almost nine times faster. So, so over this time, it's going to very quickly play all what was normally going to be about three or four seconds and play it in about half a second. And then we can do the same thing later on in the video. We can add another keyframe and we can either manually move, uh, drag the node like we did, uh, or we can just come down below. So we'll add these two keyframes and then in between these two, we'll just change the speed and we can change it manually by just typing in 50 and that'll make it 50% or half the speed that it normally was. And this is shot at, um, I think this shot at 120 FPS. So we can slow it down, it'll still look nice and smooth. Over here under effects, we can click on this keyframe and we'll add a blur. We'll add a box blur and we'll add a keyframe in and we have to actually add it up here at, on the effect. We have to add the keyframes in the same point. This is going to create a blur and that's because if we just speed up, it looks a little bit unnatural. And so this way we can blur while we're moving quickly, it kind of simulates what that motion blur will look like. And we'll add this blur on the horizontal axis instead of the vertical. Uh, and then that way, since we're moving horizontally, that's just kind of the direction we want the blur. And we can change the way that it enters into this blur, change it to smooth. And so here's the final result. So a really good tool to get familiar with is time remapping. Hopefully you found this video informative. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below if you have any, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.